race day two in the Netherlands at Ass, and then a brilliant start from Rennie Rast, an awful start from Jonathan Aberdeen. He gets passed by uh, Nico Muller and uh, Sheldon van der Linde, among others, as they all head towards turn number one. Lloyd Duval and Nico Muller just having a little touch between themselves as many drivers run wide through uh, turn number one. Of course, completely different weather conditions for this race than in race one when it was uh, raining. And uh, the big question was all about who is going to make the tyres last the best. So the opening stages of the race then, Rennie Rass stretching his legs and Mike Rockefeller doing a very good job as well as the rest of the pack come through. Marco Wittmann, of course, he was starting right from the back of the pack and already before even the completion of lap one he was making up a lot of places he had a sensor issue during qualifying wasn't able to set a lap time and therefore had all the hard work to do coming from the very back of the pack and Sheldon van der Linde just one of the drivers that he had to get past and by Jiminy he got past an awful lot of cars doing a great job Marco Wittmann then in the number 11 uh, BMW, proving why he is a two-time DTM champion. His driving class was on a different level. When it came to the uh, mandatory pit stops then, as you can see, Marco Wittmann would come up against uh, Robin Freins, who of course would be on cold tyres following his uh, pit stop. And Marco Wittmann should be able to make uh, short work of the Audi ahead of him on cold tyres. Marco Wittmann's tyres uh, well up to temperature all the way around the outside of the Robin Freins Audi in his quest to get close to Rene Rast ahead of him. And uh, sure enough, going past the number four car. So the next in the target site was Rene Rast. But Robin Freins was not giving up on this fight and this battle. And... You can see the lock-up on cold tyres for Robin Freins meant that he had to take a chicane route off the track, which cost him some valuable time and, of course, played right into the hands of the BMW driver. Mike Rockefeller, though, on uh, fresher tyres than Marco Wittmann would find a way past. And sure enough, the number 99 car, Audi Sport Team Phoenix, Mike Rockefeller, put himself ahead of Marco Wittmann. And the team were absolutely delighted. Rennie Rast then, perhaps surprisingly, was told to box for a second time because the tyre drop-off in terms of time was so great that they felt it was important to bring Rene in for a second stop and it wouldn't be the only driver that came in for a second stop, truthfully. So on board with Rene Rast looking at the uh, back end of the Mike Rockefeller car leading the race. In came Rene Rast then for his uh, second stop. And it proved to be exactly the right thing to do for Rene Rast. And that will become clear when it comes to the end of the race. So the team working very hard on the Rene Rast car. And he is released from his second pit stop of the day. Robin Freins was being chased down by Danny Junkadea and Rennie Rast, of course, on a charge now on younger tyres than anyone. And he had Robin Freins and Danny Junkadea to overtake, and he did both of them within the space of but a few hundred metres. Extraordinary driving and extraordinary grip afforded to him following that second pit stop. But for Mike Rockefeller, it was going to be... Another victory in the Netherlands. Of course, he's been a race winner in Zandvoort, but here in Assen, he took the race two victory. Marco Wittmann, right from the back of the pack, took P2, and Nico Muller, P3. Congratulations to Audi Sport Team Phoenix and Mike Rockefeller, winner of race two in Assen.